G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. Now today in front of me in this little black carry case I have a new GPS drone to the market. Uh, I believe it's just been released. Uh, it was under the new section on uh, banggood.com who sent me this one out. Now um, I thought I'll try a brushed budget GPS drone because I haven't had one on the channel for well over a year or so. So I just wanted to see how far they've come, uh, especially since I started the hobby. Uh, my very first brush GPS drone was actually back in 2017, and that was a Hubson H502E. Now a lot of you guys probably remember the Hubson H502E. Uh, that was a basic, uh, you know, toy grade quadcopter with a GPS module. Uh, I think it had altitude hold and maybe headless mode. And that was about it, guys. It had a couple of speed rates, and that was about it. That's all you got. Uh, it did have an SD card to record the video, but there was no app or anything back then. But, uh, yeah, I just thought it would be cool to um, try some of these uh, really cheap, inexpensive, uh, great for beginners, you know, just to get into the hobby and, and uh, you know, not spend too much money just to see if they like a GPS drone. So here it is here, guys. This is a HR H14 brush GPS drone, of course, and it's made by the company SHRC, as you can see here. Uh, there are two versions of this one. Uh, there is a 5G Wi-Fi version, which I did actually ask for to review, but uh, unfortunately, um, my contact at Banggood said that it wasn't available yet. I think they were waiting for a new shipment. Uh, maybe at the time of releasing this video, you could choose a 5G option now. Um, but they had to send me the 2.4 gigahertz version there, as you can see there, 2.4 gigahertz 4K. Okay, now all these drones these days, guys, they claim 4K, especially these budget ones. Take that with a grain of salt. Um, basically what they mean is it's interpolated 4K photos only. Okay, so you're not going to get a 4, 4K camera, especially in this price range. This one ranges from about, I think, 70 US for the 2.4 gigahertz version and an extra 10 bucks, I think 80 US for the um, 5G Wi-Fi version. So don't expect a 4K video on these ones. They're all the same, guys, whether they be brushless or brushed. Uh, they all claim 4K, okay? So um, anyway, let's have a look at this one. As you can see, it's very compact, okay? The H14 HR drone now to fold out this one you have to start with the from the back but these are the front arms so you just fold them out just like that same on this side and it folds out to a pretty decent size you know it's still small uh, it's very lightweight this one only weighs 160 grams guys so it's well under the FAA regulations uh, of you know 250 gram or under so you don't have to register this one with the FAA or whatever, uh, you know, we've got CASA here in uh, Australia um, and, you know, whatever your country's regulations for drone use are, um, you're well within that, you know, under that 250 grams, okay? So as you can see, it's got SHRC labeling on the top. We have the power button here also on the top. Here's the camera, okay? So we've got two cameras on this one. We've got the front facing one. Uh, I'm thinking this one might take 1080p video. The actual specs didn't state exactly what the resolution was. They just claim it's a 4K, you know, 90 degree tilt ESC dual camera model, this one. So this is probably going to take, as you can see, the lens is rather small, probably 1080p, being a toy grade that it is. On the bottom here, we have the optical flow positioning as well. So you're going to have optical flow as well as GPS on this one. Okay, now this one I believe will shoot in 720p at best. They usually are 720p resolution. You see the antenna here. This would be for your Wi-Fi, 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi antenna. And the antenna inside this drone uh, for the actual signal would be probably tucked away inside here. Okay, we've got the battery on the back. Now there's no SD cards on this one. Okay, so this is going to be purely recording your videos and your uh, photos, taking photo snapshots with the app. Now going on this front camera, it is a one axis tilt and you can actually control the camera from either the app or 
on the controller, which is neat, you can tilt it up and down. So it runs off a servo, okay? Goes up and down, so I don't want to force that. But uh, yeah, all right guys, so let's have a look at the battery. Now there's no labeling on this battery, but on the uh, specs, on the spec sheet rather, it does say this has got a one cell LiPo and you can actually just see it through the vent there. Just looks like your standard uh, silver wrapped uh, 1S LiPo. Now it's got a, a 1200 milliamp hour. So we should get pretty decent flight time out of it. Maybe around the 10 minutes mark or thereabouts. Um, and to charge it up, it's proprietary charge. So you got this uh, micro USB charging port. And um, there is an LED, two LED indicators here. Okay, there's a green and a red one. So when it's fully charged, it will be solid green. I have already charged this up. So, okay, let's have a look at what else we get here. Have a look at this uh, goodie bag first. So in here, we have all our accessories. Now those accessories are some prop guards here. I'm not going to take them out. Got four prop guards for indoor flying. Um, we also got a full set of props here as well. And here is your charging cable, the micro USB to USB. And we also have a little tiny screwdriver as well included. We have the app leaflet here. Uh, here's the QR codes for the app. It's called RX Drone. You can get it for the iOS and Google Play. There's also a Chinese mainland uh, QR code there. Okay, so a little leaflet here shows you some of the functions here. So um, there's quite a few camera functions here. As you can see, we've got switch the camera from the top to bottom, uh, 180 reverse, picture in picture. That's what PIP stands for, just in case you guys don't know. Uh, VR mode, so you can use this with your uh, VR goggles. If you put your phone in there, you want to fly FPV. Got your speed switch here, gesture photography. So this one's supposed to do those gesture photography or, or video. Headless mode, follow me. It's got circle or surround mode. Uh, we've got waypoints. So there's quite a few features you can actually do from here. Uh, PTZ, that's your pan, tilt and zoom. So you can actually, like I said, you can control the, um, the pitch of the camera up and down via the app, uh, as well as, you know, the um, the controller. So this is a Chinese uh, instructions on the other side. We also have the user manual here. Okay, first half of it is in Chinese. I already had a look at this before. So you go right into the center of the booklet here where the staples are and you got the uh, English instructions out the back. Okay, so table of contents there. So everything you need to know guys Okay, so it's just got a diagram there, how to install the propellers, all the info you need to know, especially for a beginner. If you're new to the hobby, guys, and you're watching this video, uh, you might be obviously interested in this particular quadcopter. And uh, make sure you read these sets of instructions before you fly. It tells you how to calibrate it. That's very important on these GPS drones. You've got to calibrate the compass. So it has that steady um, GPS positioning, and it also will make sure the drone flies back to the home point where you take off from. All right, last but not least, before I take it out for a flight, let's have a look at the transmitter here. It comes with these little protector foams. And I really like how they've actually got the labeling here too of all the functions of this, uh, this um, transmitter. So you can pause that if you like, guys. Just there. Okay. And there's a Chinese one on the back. So let's have a quick look at this one. So here it is here, guys. Lightweight controller. This one does take three AA, uh, AAA batteries, guys. Not AA. It takes three AAA batteries. And make sure you put that screw back in because this uh, lid on the back will not... Uh, it will slip out rather easily if you don't have that screw, okay? As you can see, all the buttons are labeled here. These two buttons here for your up and down tilt on your camera. Up the top here, we've got a three-way speed switch. So this has got three speed modes, which is pretty good. Three is always better than two, I say, <laughs> especially when it comes to flying drones. Uh, you've got your home return key up the top. This one is your gyro, 
Okay, so make sure you put your drone on a flat level surface, uh, like on a pavement, okay? And then you can press that. That will uh, uh, reset your gyro gyroscope inside your drone. There's the on and off switch just there. As you can see, it's looking to bind, okay? We have our compass calibration there. That you really want to do that before you take off, like I mentioned a couple of seconds ago. Here's your um, unlock switch here as well, okay? Let's see what we got here. Yeah, one key unlock button, that one. This one here is indoor or GPS mode. So if you're flying indoors, press that, and it'll get out of GPS mode and you'll fly in altitude hold only. Or you could even press it if you wanna fly in a sporty sort of manner uh, without the GPS assistance outside as well. Uh, and then we got headless mode here, which I don't particularly use, but uh, yeah, it's there if you need it. Okay, guys, gimbal sticks feel pretty smooth for such a toy grade uh, control here. Like I said, it is very light. Now, these are uh, antennas. They are not antennas, as you can see. They're just fake ones, just for looks, just to make it look like a more expensive product. And what I do like is this phone holder, guys. You just slip your phone in there and... Uh, that's how I'll hold it. Actually, I'll go grab my other phone. I'll show you how, it's, how it uh, actually fits in here. All right, guys, so I just went and grabbed my other phone. This is the Android phone. It's rather big compared to the iPhone 6 that I'm using to film this unboxing overview on. So there you go. You can fit a decent uh, phone here, okay? And it's pretty secure, look. It's just, it's not coming out. And uh, it's not a bad feel too, so when you're flying, you're gonna have uh, the screen right in front of you. So there you go. All right, guys, so, all right. Well, I'm going to download that app and then we're going to uh, give it a test fly and see how this new HR H14 budget GPS drone, brushed GPS drone, flies and performs. All right, guys, so that's coming up next. I'll catch you out at the field. All right, guys, I've got the SHRC, the H14 drone. It's all charged up. We're going to take it for its first flight here today, guys. So um, I'm just going to show you a bit about the app. Well, I'll do, I'll do a screen recording. Okay, so here is the app here, guys. It's called RX Drone. Now, before I go into it, just show you there is a settings tab here. There's a few different settings uh, for your snapshots just here. So I'll put that in 4K. Okay, so we'll go there. Now you've got different uh, settings for the video, 1080p, like I mentioned in the unboxing, pretty sure that it was an 80, 1080p camera, if it will let me select it, it's not letting me select it for some reason, oh, it says phone not something, alright, so 720p it is then, okay, and a little bit of information about the Wi-Fi firmware for the Wi-Fi app, okay, so... It's going to play now this is a 2.4 gigahertz drone guys the version i've got all right so we've got all our telemetry there now first what i want to do since i've turned it on and bound it it needs a gyro calibration and a compass calibration so i'll do the gyro one first hold that button down now i can't see if it flashed but it did beep as a confirmation okay now secondly i want to do the compass calibration which is this one now the light should be flashing quickly. Yes, they are. So we'll spin it. Spin it again. Clockwise. Let's see, maybe I'll do that again. Okay. Because I wasn't fast enough, I don't think. That's one beep. Two beeps. All right, that time it worked. Okay, guys, so we're ready to go. How many satellites we got here? We've got 16 satellites, guys. It's quite a bit. Um... Yep, it's all the way up the camera. As you can see, I can tilt it up and down via the controller. Let's try that again. See, 
one axis. Now this has got a 170 degree uh, wide angle lens on this one. So I'm starting a recording here. Let's take it up. You can see the GPS lock on this one. Now being 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi, there will be a little bit of lag there, but it's holding position pretty good. So, get a bit of a view of it here for a thumb shot. There we go. All right, now we're in uh, mode one. Mode 2 and Mode 3. I'll put it back in 1. Oh, that was his 3. Let's go into 1. Alright. Let's take it for a flight. Now, I noticed on this particular drone, there was no... Um, there was no indication about... The, uh, the actual specs of the flight time or the distance on this one. I'm just playing around the camera, guys. It's a little bit laggy. Send it out a bit. Still got Wi-Fi FPV. Send it up a bit as well. I might do a quick uh, return to home test. We're out at... 42 meters and 16 meters high Still got Wi-Fi I might lower that camera one a touch there we go So head off over to that building there Take it up higher than these uh, light poles We're getting pretty good signal. We're at 90 meters away 97 Still got FPV and it just froze at around 100 there. All right. So I'm going to bring the, uh, we'll try the one key return. It did come back, 109 meters. Okay, we'll see it, uh, what it does here. I am recording. It's raising up a bit and it's coming back, guys. It's coming back rather quickly. There we go. Let me lower the camera a bit if I can as it's coming back. It's meant to be a 90 degree tilt. So it came rather back rather quickly. It's in mode one for the uh, for the speed setting. Let's see how close it uh, lands to the landing pad. I'll just put that there for now. It's coming down nice and stable too. Take the camera up, level it out. Well, it's getting pretty close, guys. For a cheap toy GPS drone, this is that's an awesome landing. Look at that! How that's very uh, accurate. Look at that. If this landing, I mean, this is a small landing pad. I've got larger ones at home that come out to this size. You know, big, bigger uh, landing pad. That, if I brought my bigger one, uh, it would have uh, definitely. Um, Landed on it, I'd say. Okay, so we've still got a fair bit of battery life here. Try that out again. Let's put it up in the air. Okay, we'll uh, put in speed rate two. These buttons are a little bit hard to press. So let's fly it around a bit. And that's speed rate three. Not bad. And once you let go of the sticks, it, it's uh, just sitting there rather solid. That's pretty good. I'm impressed so far. So what we've got, I've only got one battery with this uh, drone. I believe you can get two or three battery versions like you can do with most of these GPS drones. So uh, let's see if we can get through a few of the features here. Okay. 
Okay, so I'll go into the features here. We've got the switch camera mode. So let's see what the bottom camera looks like. Take a bit of recording. There's the snapshot. Is that the bottom camera there? Should be optical flow. Yeah, I'm underneath it. As you can see, the resolution of the optical flow camera is not that great. It's probably 480p. Since the front one, uh, when I went to the settings of the app, it only let me show 720p in the settings. So the bottom one would be 480 by uh, 680 by whatever it is, you know, low resolution. <laughs> 620 by 480, I think I was trying to say. All right, so uh, let's try the picture in picture. That doesn't seem to work. VR mode, so if you're wearing goggles, you can uh, use that function. Okay, so as you can see, it uh, doubles up the screen for the goggles. Get out of that. You can also um, change your rates here as well. Waypoints, let's try follow. Now it's saying there's a, a few different follow me functions. Let's try the first one, GPS follow. Whoa, where's she going? Okay, didn't like that one. <laughs> okay. Let's uh, turn that one off. So GPS follow doesn't work. We'll try some of the other ones. Body follow, probably where you are, uh, you know, make a square around yourself. So yeah, don't do use that GPS follow. That obviously didn't work. Okay. So what I'll do, I'll just take off from here, guys. Since we've got a limited amount of time here. So it must be still in that mode. All right, I've got to get out of that. Turn the motors off. I'll just get out of that altogether. Okay. So what I'll do, I might reset this drone, guys. I might have to, actually, if it's uh, gonna stick to doing that. Let's try. Put it in the air again. If it does it again, I'm gonna have to shut it down. Okay, it's behaving itself now. All right, let's bring it back. Okay. Let's try face follow then. Looks like actually I'll have to get out of the app and possibly back into it because it looks like I've lost. Still connected. I'll get back into it now. I lost the Wi Fi from it. Okay, we've got Wi-Fi back. All right, here we go, here we go. All right, so let's uh, try that follow again, but we'll try body follow. See what it does. Nope, it's not doing anything with the follow. Now I've already got a warning here, 22% battery. Okay, so it looks like none of the features work after you uh, after you actually try to uh, do them after the warning beep. Okay, so what's going on there? It went back. So maybe it is trying to perform some sort of mode here, unless it's a geofence block. Yeah, it's geofence block, so it's going back to where I started from. All right, guys.
Okay, so you can't fly that far away. And I can't fly that high either. So I might as well take some photos then while I've got some time. I'll have to go through the features maybe in another video. So let's see what that looks like. Just trying to get it level here. So I take a photo. Okay, the app is cutting in and out as far as freezing up. doesn't allow me to take photos at the moment guys it was before okay oh, I did take a photo just then see if I can do a gesture mode okay it won't let me do it now because it's landing all right all right guys well uh, that looks like the flight time of the SHRC this is a H14 budget GPS drone and uh, I mean it does fly pretty decent it doesn't like the GPS follow mode in the GPS follow mode uh, the the face and the body one I, it didn't uh, really respond to it um, the flight time I'll put that in the on, on screen guys uh, I'll put a timer on it when I'm editing this video uh, but yeah I mean on a plus note, even though it was uh, 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi, I did get uh, 109 meters away down near that building there. So for 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi, that's pretty decent. I probably could have kept going a bit further. So what I'll do, I'll fo uh, follow this up with a uh, uh, max flight distance test, since the listing doesn't show you or tell you rather how far this will fly um, so yeah we'll test that out in another video guys so yeah that's it for today unfortunately like I said I don't have a two battery option um, if I did I'd be able to go through those functions a lot better so what I might do I'll try to do that in the um, distance test I'll send it out first see how far it can fly before it returns to home we'll also check out that max uh, 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi distance as well with the FPV. Uh, I do recommend if you are interested in this one try to get the multiple battery option because you'll have a lot more fun flying. Uh, as you can see it's got a limited uh, amount of flight time being that it's a one cell battery for starters and it's only a 1200 milliamp hour uh, LiPo in there. So uh, yeah guys not a bad little drone for a budget price. So uh, I'll leave the links in the description below to Banggood guys where you can get this one. Um, I do recommend maybe getting the 5G one if that's available, but as you can see, the 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi seems to have pretty decent range anyway, not too bad anyway. So we'll test that out in the range test video like I mentioned before. So thanks very much for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed this review. If you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe, like, comment. Always great to hear from you. And until next time, happy flying, enjoy the hobby. All right, bye for now.